الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله I wanted to talk about the da'wah to Ahl al-Sunnah in Yemen and da'wah to Ahl al-Sunnah in Ethiopia. And I just listened to a very uh, excellent uh, sound clip, uh, audio clip, of one of the mashayikh, uh, one of the Yemeni mashayikh, Shaykh, uh, I think his name is Ba Musa. And he is one of the, uh, I believe he's younger, Younger and as and a, a student of Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab al Wasabi, rahmatullahi rahmatin wasiya, who was one of the senior scholars of Ahl Sunnah in Yemen, uh, who passed away in the past few years and was the head of the uh, Marcus al Sunnah or Dar al Hadith in Hudaydah. And the Sheikh was just talking about his recent, a recent visit he had, probably within the past few months, to Ethiopia. And he was talking about the story of what he, you know, he'd been asked about it a lot. And he said that he saw what he saw there amazed him. The severe love for the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and severe and stern uh, and, and, and uh, 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 immense desire that many of the students of knowledge there had for seeking knowledge. He said that some of the uh, lectures they had, that even there would be up to like 3,000 people coming, you know, just coming from probably wherever local uh, locality they were coming from in order to uh, learn about the Sunnah, uh, of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they had Dorat, they had many lessons and lessons of Tawheed. He said there were lessons for a couple of days straight and he you know he finished certain books and there was you know people were doing between uh fajr and uh dhuhr usul al and uh nawaqid al islam and many many of the books of aqidah he said there was so much love there that he met people that some of the local people from their villages would pay money so that some of the people who were walking he said that there were people who would walk two hours to attend uh, those lectures uh, and so he was very pleased and very surprised uh, at how much love that they received and how much love the, the, some of the students of knowledge there and their local mashayikh. So that was a real positive thing. And I've seen some of the khair in my travels to Ethiopia and I just recently left Ethiopia. But however, my time was limited so I didn't have time to really make any contact with any of the brothers as I had other purposes that needed to be accomplished. So uh, the point is, is that love and that love for Talib al-Ilm and that it can't be quenched easily. And so some of the students even were crying, he said, because they were just so, uh, you know, moved by what they had encountered from their brothers who had studied in Yemen in the Marrakesh Dara Hadith, the, the various uh, Dara Hadith uh, centers for studying all throughout Yemen, you know, that they, they cried, they would break down in tears because they don't have that opportunity because of obviously war and the other things that prevent them from having that blessed opportunity but they still had love and still do Talib al-ilm where they can there in Ethiopia. So this is a great ni'mah min ni'amillah and he said he just saw the ta'awun of Ahl sunnah he saw the Salafi da'wah so strong that there were some students from Jama Islamiya and then there were some of the students who had studied in Yemen and they had ta'awun which is a beautiful thing because there are those especially from some of our brothers who studied in Yemen, some of the students of knowledge who tend to have some harshness and, in fact, extremism, and because it is tajawas. And as some of the scholars mentioned in plain and simple bid'ah, when you go beyond the bounds, you've gone beyond the, beyond the bounds of the shara. The shara tells you one thing, but if you're making a lot of tibdi of people without the right to do so, just like the tekfirins make tibdi or make takfir of people without the right to do so, then all of this is uh, shameful and dangerous. And so this is why it's imperative to adhere to the sunnah and love the sunnah. And then the sheikh was just talking about how the, even with the wars, 
uh, the war that is going on in Yemen that uh, there's still uh, immense love and immense talab uh, al-ilm. And then I just recently came across a, a beloved brother of mine who's, who still lives in Yemen. Talab al-ilm has been there for, I'm sure, over 20 years now through several wars. He's been and lived in many of the Marrakesh of Sunnah. He's well-known Talab al-ilm. And he uh, just put a post up and it was about, I think, his first visit to Aden to Dar al-Hadith in Fiyush which was the markas that was set up by Sheikh Abdurrahman Adani. And I've been there a few times in, to visit and saw Sheikh Abdurrahman and others and some of the other mashayikh there giving lectures. And even those were just local lectures. You would see students from other provinces. I mean, the, the markas is, was huge. And there was thousands of students probably that lived there. And it's probably even bigger now, you know. And so our brother, beloved brother Shakir Kennedy, Allah Ta'ala was, was there visiting our brother, uh, one of our brothers, uh, uh, Muhammad Quraysh, Ugandi from Uganda, and some of the other brothers, and he said he was very impressed with what he saw, and it reminded him very much of uh, Damaj and the situation and the, uh, what he experienced in his life there. And so the point is, is that this is what we need around the world. We need these uh, we need to spread the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam through Talib al-Ilm and support our Tulab al-Ilm. You know, our Tulab al-Ilm that are in America that are calling to the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and raising the bar as some of the students are raising up the level of their uh, their students. They're teaching them, not just giving them information, but they're teaching them so that way they can make you know, and have some fiqh as, as students. That's the point. You want to raise people who are going to practice and be students and who go on to deliver the message of Islam in its correct form based on the book and the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And likewise in Europe and, uh, and around the world. So this is why it's imperative to support, uh, to support Ahl Sunnah and to go forward in Atlab al the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man salaka tariqan yaltalmasuhu bihi ilman sahalallahu lahu tariqan al jannah Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. And so it's imperative that we strive our best to be a part of that in some form or fashion, that we should strive our utmost to be of those who are on this path to Jannah because all of us want Jannah but if we want Jannah and we want right guidance and we want to uh, to get there then we need ilm and this is what the Prophet وسلم, just by seeking knowledge Allah will make easy for you to go to paradise and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil وسلم, على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم